Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Doing Spice Wars with House uh, Harkonnen. I'm feeling very vulnerable and unprotected right now. I, I, I feel like I need to, like, drop up this Plasgreed factory here and, like, put a turret or something. I'm worried about my spice harvesters because if I want to keep using oppression, I have to have... I feel like I need turrets to protect. So I'm going to, I'm gonna like, kind of get set up for that. Um, I, I think I'm going to play defensively. I think I'm actually, like, really weak right now compared to these other players. I need to, I need to like secure this extra spice field over here because my spice production is just not up to snuff as it currently stands so once this airfield is done uh, i think we want to mooch over there i also i need to increase my water i need to get more ground command I'm, I'm in a very awkward spot it feels like like i feel like i'm doing okay but you know playing against the hard ai man that that's a wake-up call let me tell you i thought i was doing okay the first time but now i'm getting like stomped on the ai is like several thousand points ahead of me uh, we have our airfield which is going to let me play a little bit more aggressive around finit so let's get over there. Let's get that sorted. Uh, my big problem is my salary income. So that's like the thing that I need to take care of is I'm just simply not making enough money, uh, you know. And so I think getting this final easy spice field will be the thing. Don't go that way. Don't go through the desert. Don't go through the desert. Um, yeah, but this, this, this final uh, spice field, I think that'll save me. We're about to have the Lance Rat. Okay, the Lance Rat is just coming online. And maybe part of my problem is that I went too hard on tech, but like, the tech seems to pay off pretty well. I don't know. It's hard to know. Uh, I'm going to drop a supply drop in here. Supply drops are relatively cheap uh, thingies. Oh, we got a we got a worm. No marker over your head, so you're safe, I think. Why am I missing water? Uh, why do I not have enough water to do this? My military is too big. Wind strength four. That's a wind trap right there. So we'll wait for this wind trap. We can get this. I mean, the pillage is okay, but it's not what I want, you know? Oh, this is a problem. Lands Radgard. Okay, uh, let's get everyone except for you. Pillaging a border town, which is like a huge jerk move. How... Wait, how do I get my... How do I get my airfield view back up? Yeah, it's gonna happen now. Airfield. Uh, transport. Get over there. Yeah, maybe it'll work. God, he got through. He got through with the pillage. Absolute jerk and he's coming in again oh no uh let's start building a turret i think the turret will help the lack of militia hurt here so yeah i'm in a vulnerable place i need to like store everything here i need to get turrets up i also need to get like a military base uh, i need to get this siege dealt with just a lot going on and i'm a little bit worried <laughs> i'm a little worried listen things are hard right now it's a struggle i feel like i need more airfields Oh man, where is the time? Look at my my money is negative. Where, why am I losing money? I think I have to do an oppression here just to keep my money afloat. I'm just I'm not giving the emperor any spice. He can get screwed. My sandworm. Oh right, I can uh, add crew to my harvesters. That's good, right? That'll help. Extra spice production. I need ground command. I need less manpower being used, and I need more uh, troop capacity because right now things are just oof. Things are rough, man. I did get my turret in here, and I want this military base too. That's a 20% power boost to all regions or all military units. And it'll also help with any of like the local combat if I decide to like have a little bit of aggression between us. But he's got those Lance Radguard, man. Those things are spooky. So I'm just waiting on a little bit of authority to annex Fanit. Bro, I am criminally low on Plazcrete right now, even though I've built Plazcrete basically everywhere. I've got a spare agent. I think I go full in Arrakis for as much authority as possible maximize that uh, authority production. So what does Poison the Reserves actually do? I'm going to have a Poison the Reserves ready. He's got to have all these basic operations ready to fire off at people. There is an ongoing vote. I really don't want that water upkeep to pass, so I'm going to go ahead and put like, well, like a good chunk of votes in there. I don't care. I, I, honestly, the only thing I care about is the water thing not passing, so I'm just going to like dump everything into stopping that. These guys look like they might be lining up to go for a fight with me, so I really need this military base up. Good news is the turret does chip away at these guys pretty well. hey oh, All right, what's going on here? Uh, looks like we've got a raid. This should be defeated. Yeah, this should be defeated. They've got mostly range units. I've got melee units up in their faces. Lost a resolution. That's okay. Okay, we managed to decline the water thing. That was the most important thing. Got a trade request. Do you want my influence? That's nowhere near good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and take control of Fanit. We found another siege. The siege is here. Okay, that's fine. Mission succeeded. Okay, we've got our basic missions up and running. You know what I should do? Let's poison the reserves in here. Drain 50% supply daily. And then we'll uh, prepare another poison the reserves. We're in control of Finit now. Let's go for... I want the spice harvester, so we're going to wait. Um, I guess we can go another Plasgrete producer. Couple of villages over here. 
and we've got an abandoned Fremen camp. What have you got? You've got a maintenance center, a wind trap. Are you affected by a maintenance center, I wonder? Does not look like it. I probably want a maintenance center here and make my economy more efficient. And then I got to think about uh, building a military base. But until I get more military capacity, I think I'm tied up here. I don't think I can move these guys from the front line. I can, however, get some ranged militia and some demolition militia on my outskirts. And also, I should be filling up my militia reserves everywhere to make sure that I'm getting that extra 5% resource production. I think that's a big key part of my build that I'm missing right now. So I'm going to go and spend a decent amount of cash making sure that that is still true. So it's a lot of my money, but it's important enough to do. Finit got its Plasgreet factory. We're just waiting for the refinery. I probably want an airfield here too. Yeah, but I definitely feel broke, which does not feel good. <laughs> it does not feel good to be broke, let me tell you. How do I make more money? 10% Chome exchange rate. Manpower production, heavy militia, house guards, defense systems. Plus one militia slot, that's kind of like an economic bonus. Support structures, stealth probes, military threat. I think a big thing for me here is defense systems. Having like a really, really robust militia uh, network seems to fit well for me, even though my salary income is just like broken right now. I just absolutely cannot sustain it. I 100% I'm going to fail this spice uh, the spice tax. Maybe, maybe this knowledge production facility was a mistake, or like the craft workshop. Should I change it for something else? I don't know. This is the this is the tricky thing I'm running into. I I don't know what I should do to fix my economy because it seems like all of your income is based around the spice. Like that's the key resource you need to get a hold of. But I think it's okay to to flounder a little bit when you're learning a game, and I definitely feel like I'm floundering. I don't feel strong enough to raid anyone, except maybe over here in Kul Altair, but he has an airfield ready to like airdrop in troops and just like completely wipe me out if I tried anything over here. And then the second I maybe move, make a move on someone, I, I need to build up a second army. That's what I really need to do. So I need to increase my water reserves, all that jazz. Wind strength six in this town here though is quite good. So I will want to get a wind trap here. That'll allow me to expand my military capacity by quite a bit. And I can also deploy this harvester with uh, a full crew immediately, which feels good. I need an airfield like here or in Fonrum. I can't afford to take Fonrum. You know what I could do though? Two units in Fonrum. Maybe if I built a small... House guards would be so based for me right now, but I don't think I can. I think I'll go for another trooper. Uh, I'll go for... Uh, I think I could fit another gunner into this build, yeah. A trooper and a gunner, and I'll go over here and see if I can raid Fonram to make it cheaper to take over. Imperial tax missed. You lost Landsrad standing because of it. Okay, I'm happy to lose Landsrad standing. I just, I cannot afford the Imperial tax right now, dude. My economy is borked. My spice production is just so not up to spec for some reason. God, my income is so bad. I think I need to be raiding. That's my problem, is that I need to be raiding and I'm not. The, the, the severe lack of raiding... Um, is hurting me a big time, especially in terms of score. Like, but I, I but every time I, I I feel like I try to raid, I, I feel like a rebellion's gonna pop up and cause me issues. So I'm kind of terrified to do it. Um, de-escalation is fine. Solari upkeep, I would like that to pass, please. Hell yeah, I would love to take control of Ulbad if I could, but that might be a tough sell. God, my economy feels like it swings up and down so. <laughs> so quickly. It's, it's such such a stark contrast to my Atreides run where I felt like I was like, okay, I was constantly making good progress. You know, I felt like I was always getting somewhere. Um, infinite. I feel like there's a bit of a diminishing return to knowledge, but I have kind of committed to a knowledge economy here and I'm hoping that that like just kind of works for me. I have no faith in it uh, working, but sometimes, sometimes you go for a build and it just doesn't really work out. We got a rebellion here, so we're gonna have to pull back. Because even moving my troops is so expensive, but I'm swimming in manpower in Plaskreet. That's the thing, man. Some things I'm doing really well on, and some things I'm struggling with. And maybe it's a function of the game being slightly harder, or me just not playing the Harkonnen very well. Because I waited too long to go for a better military. I wonder though, do I get score from killing rebels? You do actually get 25 prestige, or, or, or uh, 25 what you call them. There is a sandworm here, let's get into the town. Alright, we're nice and safe, nice and safe. We've protected Ulcus. This place needs a turret. If I built a turret here, I'm pretty sure I could run oppressions like on cooldown. So let's leave. I'm not being attacked over here. No, I'm good. I do need to build militia though. Okay, full stack of militia coming in over here to protect the town. 
And I'm, I'm looking forward to the defense systems here. This is going to give my missile batteries serious power to protect me. And I feel like if I'm well protected by my missile batteries, maybe I can play a little bit more aggressive. I can start running oppression. I can start deploying my harvesters aggressively, all that sort of stuff. Ongoing siege here. Let's capture this. All right, great. We own Fawn Rum. Uh, I think the Plaskrete factory makes sense. What's going on here? Development research. It would be kind of nice to reduce my water upkeep for my armies and stuff like that. I don't need more manpower. I would like the command post structure and I really would like the water cells. I think I go for the command post structure and uh, maybe I can finally start raiding. <laughs> I'd love to know what's on the border here. Um, we do have control of a new village. That's good news. Village under siege. This is by a sea trade. And we might struggle to hold that, so let's get a little bit of troops to drop here for defense. Okay, one of my enemies reached 10k hegemony. That's a lot. It's a lot more than I have, let me tell you. The good news is we are defending this town. We will have to rebuild the militia. So what do I want to do with Kul Raya? It's got organized supply, so it's it's lower maintenance. Intel production doesn't seem good. Maybe, I think I go for knowledge. I keep, I keep pumping that knowledge. I went, I went for the science building early, and my hope is that that will, like, just pay dividends over the long term. I'd love to get some raids off, man. And that would be, like, just the most amazing thing ever. Fonrum definitely needs an airfield. It's a strategic position. Hegemony stage reached for House Atreides. I think, though, if I set my economy up correctly, right, in the mid to late game, I might be able to be the hyper-aggressive player I want to be. Do I have, do I have access to spice silos? That's a good question, actually. I assume I've unlocked those. Yeah, I do. So I think my next big purchase is in Quart Lula. I'm going to get a spice silo to provide spice adjacency to the, these two zones. That's going to be key. So I'll go ahead and unlock that slot. But in order to build the spice silo, I need another good chunk. How's the council vote going? If I got these three lands, Radguards, dude, oh my god, please give me them. Let's keep using oppression on uh, the zones where we want to make a ton of spice. I know it's a dangerous thing to do, to bring an oppressive military force, but I think it's, uh, it's important enough and useful enough to spam it on cooldown in some of these places. But yeah, I'm going to go into full oppression mode. Everywhere is getting oppressed right now. Deploying all my harvesters and deploying full oppression. Ah, the siege is friendly. So, this is a 20% manpower boost. Uh, let's grab, I guess, we'll take another person off Arrakis. And we'll put them onto here. So I think that's just like a straight up 20% manpower across my entire empire, which is nuts. Uh, military threat seems like a good way to get influence. I would like the house guard, but military threat will give me influence, like I said. So now I should be ready to start another building in here. Yeah, I can build all these things. It's just the money. The money is the problem. I, I super need to raid. Okay, I have my Landsrad. Are Landsrad enough to go for a raid here on Tab Tabvel? I think so. Let's deploy the Landsrad. And I'll, I'll deploy even more units. I will say this. Obnum, you know what you need? You need a turret. You're kind of on the outskirts. You're a little bit in a dangerous place. So the turret will buy us time. So we're gearing up for a raid on Tabval. That's our goal. We have all projects ready. I missed another Imperial tax. Big deal. Okay, yeah, I need turrets in my um, harvester zones. It's okay. Let's begin the raid on Tabval. Any sandwormers? Okay, we got a couple of sandworms appearing, but we're keeping it under control, more or less. All right, good, good. Recover that town. Let's get the pillage going. Liberate? I don't want to liberate it. I want to pillage. I need those resources. Let's deploy a supply drop, poison the reserves, and a gear shortage here to make it harder for any retaliation. We have our Landsrad, we have everything. Dude, the Landsrad is insane. Let's go take these on. Now that we've deployed all our operations, let's do supply drop, gear sabotage, poison the well. These ones just seem like the best. I guess we could do combat drugs. Those seem pretty powerful, actually. I don't know, I don't know if I'm playing Harkonnen correctly. That's the interesting thing here. Okay, the Fremen infiltrators appearing. Dude, that's so much XP, though. All right, Demolition Squad, back up. Be careful about taking too much. No, no, don't shoot that. And my money's a problem. Oh, I have harvesters that are undeployed. That's probably why. <laughs> It'd probably be a good idea to have your harvester deployed, Baron Harkonnen. 
Um, but this was a successful raid. I got a bunch of score from killing enemy units. I got a bunch of experience on my units. And we got a successful pillage slash raid here. And theoretically, that saved me some, you know, resources to annex it later. Let's kill the turret, because if the turret's there, it's a threat to me. Uh, I'd like to pull off a raid on the Atreides. I think I'd like to build a unit. However, before I build a unit, what I really want is to... Oh, damn it, I never unlocked the Chome factory, did I? Where does that get unlocked? I need to do economic lobbying. Yeah, I need the Chome branch big time. So we'll have to hold off on that one. So this would be a big manpower boost. So command post would let me have a larger military. And barracks would let me have a more experienced and higher health military. I think I want to, I want a higher quality military for now. So I'll build that first. The health and XP will, will add up over time. In fact, I've got this guy to level three already, which means he's, he's up, well, like an extra 10% health, an extra 10% damage. I think it's, I think it's 10% health and damage per level is the basic formula that they're, they're going off there. So I'm ready for potentially, I, dude, I want this spice field. In fact, the, this spice field here, Ulbat, I think that's my next target. You're supposed to get the hell out of there. So I have my operations prepared. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more units. Now, a stealth probe, you want it to die basically, and that gives you units power. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Upon death, nearby ally units in combat gain, does that mean when this thing dies? Oh no, I'm gonna build a stealth probe. We have control of Fanit again, so the spice is flowing, we're happy. What's this mission here? Uh, a thousand Solari, yes please, Jesus, that would like, Ex like help my economy to a degree that you probably don't even really understand. Gunners just seem so good for me. And troopers for now. Okay, so how long until the lands rat? So we got a few days to begin the fight for Ulbat. I really want this spice field, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and take this. Like big, it'll be huge if I can get it. Let's begin the fight. Our first goal will be the turret. Make sure you guys are off to the side. A little bit of micro required. The turret's down. Let's get our reinforcements, deploy them to the front line, and we're also going to deploy the supply drop and then prepare another supply drop. That should keep our troops healthy over here while we take the city. And take it is exactly what I want to do. I do not want to just raid, I want to take this. Because this is a spice field, and man, I need spice fields. Got a village under siege. I forgot to rebuild a militia here. That's actually really bad. Um, what can I get to deploy here? All right, I'm deploying troops to Obnum. That's perfect. I managed to get a couple guys over there before this happened. You need to get off of the dangerous ground. Let's get the stealth probe over here too. That can, might be able to buy me some time. Unfortunately, turrets don't operate while the town is like occupied. Village under siege, mission succeeded. One of my harvesters needs to be deployed. Good work. We are fighting here. I think we're getting shot. That's unfortunate. Let's drop a supply drop here to keep the healing going and then prepare another supply drop. It gets hectic. It gets hectic, you know. Oh, I might not make it just just barely. Come on. Oh, man, that was close. Looks like the Atreides are getting ready to deploy or they're deploying somewhere else. They must be fighting someone else. Oh, I forgot to actually vote in the council. Well, rip. <laughs> I lost a lot of units. I lost the Landsrad units. That was the big key thing. However, not necessary because we managed to actually take the Spice Harvester from this town, which is all I really wanted. Let's take Yoink Harvester. Um, we're going to play a battery turret. I would like him to stop shooting me. Kind of annoying, actually, <laughs> that he's still shooting me. Um, but yeah, let's get some militia in here. Militia, militia, militia. Do I need to change anything? Military base, you probably don't need a military base in Ulbat, or that means I can delete the one. It means I don't need to make one in Minmun. You probably don't need another maintenance center, so I can get rid of that. I will take the water and the refinery, though. So I've got plenty of Plazcrete in supply. Oh yeah, I need to uh, build up a militia here. Another spice field to my left side here. I would love to claim that. I think my military needs to be reconstructed. So stealth probes are not immune to supply. Uh, Sending them through the desert will kill them. I lost one to the desert attrition. I thought because they were flying, they were like, yeah, hey, you know, it's like an ornithopter. I thought they were totally cool to go. Uh, not true. Uh, let's make... I, I don't think I like these vanguard units. So I'm going to focus on making troopers and um, gunners. 
but I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. Like, I feel like I'm catching up to the AI at least, like, a little bit. It seems to be kind of working for me. So we got military threat, which gives us influence based on our military score. I want air command now. Or do I want call to arms? Call to arms for heavy militia and house guards. That would, like, improve my military capabilities quite a bit. Um, we're picking up a decent, like, one influence from military power. That's not too bad. Let's deploy our new harvester with a full crew. Happy days. This is big in terms of money income. Now, how else do I increase the defensiveness of this town? Probably not really a good way. Research hubs help, though. Man, research hubs help. So Al Alwyn is my next capture target. I'll probably raid it first. It's kind of like my hopeful move. And then on top of that, I would really like to build uh, the command post for extra command power and the 20% power to all military units. Like, I'm feeling pretty okay as it stands. I missed another Imperial tax. I think now that I'm making enough spice, I should be looking to meet the Imperial quota. Because now my Landsrad, I don't want to go any lower on Landsrad, right? My Landsrad reputation, it got low enough. No need to go any lower. We've stabilized our economy. We're feeling pretty good. Let's go attack here. At least get one raid on this place to make it easier to capture later. So you want me to have a thousand Solari for 200 hegemony or take control of two new villages. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get control of two new villages, but I can definitely have a thousand Solari at some point. Combat ongoing as planned and predicted. Let's drop a supply drop in here to keep our troops healthy. I like that you. I like that there's a lot of like things you can do. Crap, get to the town. All right, nice. They got eaten by the sandworm. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's pillage. 700 gold pillage. Feels pretty good. I definitely, I definitely feel like the biggest thing here is I felt too scared to pillage. And I focused a little bit too much on economy. I should have focused way more on military. I should have been hitting, like, I should be hitting every town on my border, like, on cooldown. Especially, like, the neutral towns, at least. So, pillage succeeded. Make your way home to heal up. But yeah, I'm close to being able to build that extra power building, which will make my military way more effective. All right, let's use oppression, I guess. <laughs> to get what we want. A little bit of oppression. Never hurt nobody. Well, it's probably not true. So Egg Mara has its final slot available. It's maintenance center, plans, create, wind trap. In terms of final slot, maybe starting to generate extra hedge money would be good. I could also go for influence so I can fight for the Landsrad. Um, because if I don't have enough power on the Landsrad, someone could easily just swipe it from me and take me over. Um, so let's do a listening post. I want to vote down House Atreides from getting access to the Landsrad guard. And I want to vote up. Me getting the Chome Spice Exchange, that would feel nice. I'm going to drop a Supply Drop in this region, because I'm looking for a kill. All right, there's the Worm. Seems like the Worm almost always triggers from combat, which is kind of interesting. We do have a Rebellion underway, and it's in a fairly easy-to-reach location. So let's go ahead and deploy our troops. I probably don't need to do a full deployment. we got this under siege. We could take control. I think we want money from it, though. That's the thing. Because we would rather take control of Al Alwyn because it has the uh, spice field. And that's actually what these guys are going to be doing next. I have the money now to come in here and get myself the command post. That's 12 command points with a 20% power boost to all my military units. That's huge. So when this probe dies... Okay, so it's not when the probe dies that my units get a boost. It's like when allied units die. I don't understand what the probe... Okay, so we got a raid... We should be able to hold this raid with the turret. We have defensive logistics and six militia in this city. That should be an easy raid to hold. The sandworm here, however, is not an easy raid to hold, let me tell you. Man, there's so much, like, strategy and things you have to consider and stuff that's going on. It's, it's a lot to keep track of. Now, to be fair, I am playing it on 2x speed. I imagine playing this on, like, 1.5x speed or 1x speed. The game would be a lot more relaxing. Because <laughs> right now, it's a little stressful. Spice field detected. So who's currently, like, winning here? It looks like it's House Atreides, so I could focus my efforts on dismantling them. If I were to push up this region here, Kul Alar, take control of this airfield, I could also push to um, Dam Alwan and really, like, I mean, Arakeen. Also, Arakeen is right here. Dude, I, wait, I'm on their, I'm on their, uh, their doorstep. Hold on. Crazy idea. Uh, what if I... <laughs> this has 20k health and 20 armor. If I had enough demo troops, I could strip that armor and go straight for Arakeen. I think I would definitely need, like, a few house guards here. 
Their power is unmatched. But I think Arakeen is now in my sights. I don't know how fast it regenerates, but I could just go all in because I get half of my unit's resources back when they die. So as long as nothing too screwy happens, when I'm not looking, I should be fine. Now we have called arms, so we have access to even more manpower production as well as the house guard. Uh, extra damage against militia. Yeah, I think I want central command here. The extra command points fits really nicely. And it also, every time a unit dies, I get more power, more unit power. So I mean like, this might be a because blue is actually getting pushed back to a degree that it's kind of spooky for blue. So I feel if I were to take out House Atreides, it would just be me and the Fremen. Um, and I feel like <laughs> as House Harkonnen, I feel like I could take on the Fremen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the Fremen, they'll lose. Oh, I didn't have this harvester on uh, automatic ex 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 escape, which <laughs> has uh, had some negative, negative consequences for me. Let me just say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you guys, why would you go this way? Why would you cross the desert? I gave them like a movement command. I thought it was an accurate one, but apparently they misinterpreted it. Let's just get these guys over here. We'll take over this spice field. Eh, time for a little oppression, sure. So this time we did manage to pay the spice tax so we can play a little bit looser with our uh, spice output for now. We might have to adjust that later. Let's go capture Al Alwyn. We've got a Landsrad Council vote coming up. I could get... Th Ooh, if I had these three Landsrad guards, I think... I think I could take on... I could take out our trade... The House Atreides. If I can get those three Landsrad guards, I think... I think that's a wrap for House Atreides. I just need, like, a couple of these House guards. Let's take control of another Spice Field. So I'm setting up for a play on Arakeen. I'm gonna need a lot of gunners. I think four gunners might be enough to strip the armor off of this. We got our new village. Airfield first. But for now, you guys make your way to this airfield. Alright, deploying my army to the front line, preparing for Arakeen. I've got two house guard on the way. My units have 20% more health and 20% more fighting power. The only thing I'm missing here is extra manpower, which would get me plus two armor for all my units. That would actually be huge. Can I trade for money here? Who has a lot of cash? The Fremen have tons of cash. I just need like 1200 cash. They want some spice. How about some intel? They seem to value intel highly. The Fremen accepted my trade, which means I can come into Carthage and play the recruitment center. And in 10 days, I will have uh, a near unstoppable army with plus two armor, 20% more health, 20% more damage, um, full built house guards, the whole, the works. We're almost there. We have room for a little bit more military. Oh yeah, go on an attack and get yourself damaged. That's perfect for me. Uh, House Atreides did get the Landsrad. That's really bad for me. Now, the only problem I have here is I did just use oppression. So I'm going to need like a couple troopers to hold the, the main base and to respond to rebellions and stuff like that. But yeah, I think it would be good if I could... Maybe take or liberate Kulon first and like really push them back from the center. What is Kulon good at? Research labs, fuel cells. I may just pillage it, honestly. It's an opportunity to fight their army. All right, so the Fremen are involved in here. You know what? <laughs> Let's go ahead and poison the reserves. Wait, no, I don't want to poison reserves. I'm going to gear sabotage. And then I'm going to get in there myself, pick up a supply drop and a gear sabotage and see if we can't catch these units off guard. Because if we can kill these Landsrad, they can't regenerate them. If we could take out Bimur, right, that's one Landsrad down, kill his turrets. Feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. Dude, it seems really easy to do damage to people's infrastructure. All right, boom, we're dropping the supply drop. What's this? Ceasefire. Okay, you drop the supply drop in response to the ceasefire. I'm a little worried. This is a lot of stuff. There is a raid incoming. What do we think about this? Do we think we can take this fight? He's got a support drone, heavy weapon squad, rangers. This will be a tough fight. Oh, the sandworm was huge, actually. Okay, I can definitely win this fight now. That was huge for me. I'm not dealing with any rebellions, right? No, just got operations. Oh, that's big. That's big. All right, I forgot to build my harvester here. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Right, this should be a fairly easy raid to hold. How long are the ceasefire, man? Okay, ceasefire runs out soon, and I can drop a new supply drop. I'm going to drop a gear sabotage to weaken the enemy. 
and I'll drop a supply drop. Let's go ahead and renew a gear sabotage and a supply drop so that we can stay ahead of the enemy. There's still active combat, so I can't like do what I want yet. Sandstorm, combat, mission, we've got a siege, hedge money threshold. So I finally reached 10k hedge money, which does uh, allow me to assign an agent to missions. That's good news. It's good news, good news, good news. Also, I'm going to put a town under oppression, I think. Purely just so I can get that extra 10% combat strength on my units. Makes a big difference. Did we actually... We can liberate it, we can take control, or we can pillage. Um, I don't think taking control of this is like particularly interesting for me. Do I want to pillage or do I want to take control? Let me have a little think about that. I think we just pillage for the money and do damage to his economy. Because the goal for this mission was to soften up his uh, army. Like just tank his economy to the point where he can't effectively fight. All right, pillage successful, let's head back. And I would like to pillage Kulon next. Oh man, he's deployed a lot of military here. That's going to be the fun thing to take on, I feel. Is that absolutely gargantuan military he's deploying. So I've never actually... Ooh, 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 what's this? A, a maximum level gunner. So if we compare this gunner to this gunner, that's yeah, another 40 health and another damage. That's a pretty big deal. So I don't know what the maximum level is. I think it's like four. Yeah, max level is four. Oh, wait, hold on. Rebellion underway. Okay, that's what I was expecting here. Thankfully, I do have the units in nearby to help out. And also, the turret is being clutch here, dealing with this rebellion for me. Let's make sure we fight them in the turret range. The first things first is we got to kill the Landsrad. You guys not make it that way? Okay, I've got another agent. I can't put it on House Atreides. That's okay. Probably a good idea to infiltrate the Chome a little bit. And looks like there's a Landsrad vote happening. Oh, bro. If I, if I get military service, when my units die, I can recruit them for the exact cost, because, like, I get half the unit... I get half my unit's recruitment cost back when they die. So that's massive. I can play super aggressive here. So wait, why is my... Why is my Plazcrete so bad right now? I'm worried. So there's a rebellion here. I don't see another rebellion. Does this just happen to be, like, a major Plazcrete production facility? Let's have a look. Okay, my Plazcrete is now positive. Okay, it was just, like, a big Plazcrete place. Well, in that case, let's look into getting more Plazcrete. All right, the scary... Th I'm scared to go up against Arakeen. But I'm also eager. Like, I'm super eager. I wonder if I can do, like, micro stuff. So we're in deep. Pull back my troopers. Let's play a supply drop and a gear sabotage. Let's go all in. We're all in. We are super all in. Uh, gear sabotage and supply drop. These just seem like really, really good. I'm going to slow down the game. Um, but we need to keep killing the units that come out. That's like the key thing. I'm going to get my gunners on the city. I need to strip the armor. So the armor needs to come down. That's the big thing. If I can get the armor down, he's got his military backup coming. We want to stay inside this zone. This is where we're strongest. Armor is down to 11. Oh, bro. I think I might actually be able to do this. I think I can actually do it. I should probably deploy my harvesters because I have a massive, <laughs> I have a massive Solari deficit right now. Oh boy. Hold on. How many troops are going to die in this battle? It's insane. Thankfully, I actually have a turret supporting me too. So we want to get these demo guys uh, on the city. Uh, we're going to drop another supply drop in his head HQ and another gear sabotage and then we need to prepare. I think the supply drop is more important, keeping my units healthy and sustained. I did just lose a unit. Must be an airfield range. Okay, I need to deploy more troops. Um, I think I just keep making house guards. And I think I did actually win the cheaper unit recruitment, which is big. The armor is shredded. More units keep appearing is a problem. So a little bit of micro here. I need to get these, this group of um, demolition guys. I need them to be in group two. And then I need everyone else to be like microed. So I need to like focus fire down enemy troops. I'm losing troopers. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy more to the front line. 
Need these house guards. I'm missing command points. That's okay. These house guards are insane, by the way, on the front line. They take so much damage. Arakeen has lost a chunk of its health. I'm focus firing, feeling good. Any rebellions? Village under siege. Oh god, well, you know, you can have that one. That one's yours. I'm, uh, I'm too busy. Supply drop, get more troopers to the front line. They take a while to get there, but when they get there, they make a difference. Maybe I can save this house guard and get it out of combat. Grab another supply drop. Okay, troopers have arrived to fight. I don't like, sometimes when I click on one unit, I select a multiple. I'm not sure what's causing that. I don't know how they're sustaining this military production. Because I'm killing their units almost as fast as they appear. But I'm generating so much military score right now. Arakeen is going down very slowly. They keep running away and they do this thing where they run away. They're like microing against me, which I don't like. How dare the AI micro. That's my thing. Ooh, I'm gonna lose a high level gunner. Oh, I really don't want that. Retreat. Yeah, I don't like this. This kind of like chasing off random units is not ideal. Don't do that. Focus on the battle. Supply drop. I have the money to keep making house guards. I'm going full income right now. Soon I'll have central command. I'll be able to deploy more troops. Oh, I lost two. Two of my gunners, which is not good. Oh god, they're deploying more troops. Is this just a function of I need to actually like kill their economy? Are they? Am I just not killing their troops fast enough? Hmm, I'm not sure why they're able to sustain production against me here. I may have to do a retreat here, and I will. But this was a very, very successful attack, I, I think. I mean, if I look at his resources in the intel mode, I mean, he looks like... I don't know how much manpower he has. I don't know how he's sustaining that manpower production, actually. That's the thing that's surprising me. How the hell do you have enough... How the hell do you have that kind of manpower? All right, let's lick our wounds and get ready for a second push. Okay, I'm hoping the sandworm makes work. Sandworm, save me. Don't step out any further. Where's my sandworm? Dude, give him a bite. All right, nice. We managed to barely survive here. That was clutch as hell. Let's get more gunners. I think the gunners were the key part there. The problem is there's no way to keep them from getting on top of your troops. I couldn't keep him off me and let my gunners do the work that they needed to do. I have shredded the armor of Arakeen though, which means maybe if I can get back in there, we can do the work. So I have one, two, three. I would like five gunners and then whatever I can fit in terms of house guard. I could fit two stealth probes here or I could get another gunner. I'll get a gunner. So that was just our first attempt. We're going to attempt again. We're all in. Okay, we're all in. Uh, air command for an extra eight command points. This will allow me to go even more all in. Hell yeah. And I really need to kill House Atreides because he's only 10k points away from winning. Um, that's a big problem for me. And actually, it looks like the blue player is about to be killed. We definitely need to be having supply drops. I think those supply drops were key in maintaining this. Um, so let's take agents off of Arrakis and instead get onto Intel production. This will allow me to deploy way more supply drops. All right, huge swath of troops ready to be deployed. Now there is a bit of a sandstorm in, a sandstorm in the area, so I'm a little bit spooked out that I've just deployed like all of my troops to the very, very front line. But we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Now, if these guys teleport out of here, I can move in on Arakeen. We need to be careful about our positioning in the storm. The storm is keeping us safe. There's a raid here. I don't think I care about the raid. Let's get let's get ready to fight Ara Arakeen. This is it. This is the killing blow. His troops are out of position. I don't know where he sent them, but this is the killing blow. It has to be. Let's get in there. So we're attacking. We have a supply drop in the bank and we can get more. I don't know why my units are getting a little bit caught up here. Make it happen. Its health is going down very rapidly. It's kind of working. We'll drop a supply drop now to keep people healthy. Uh, let's get a supply drop. I think this is it. This is the play. And then I just got to fight the Fremen over and over and over and over and over again. And I think if I if I have enough supplies, I can maybe be super aggressive. Ooh, he's got 12 minutes until he wins. So Arakeen going down is like the only way I don't lose here. Because uh, House Atreides has the Dune Governorship. And if I don't kill them, like with this push, I lose. His troops are woefully out of position, though. This is like I attacked at the perfect time. Literally could not have gone more perfectly. I'm surprised this is regener- no, it's getting killed. So the Siege to Ek, the smugglers are dying, and now it's gonna be a 1v1, me versus the Fremen. Oh, he's being real aggressive though. That's okay, I'm busy, all right, I'm busy. You just wait, when I turn around and I take you on, you'll see, you'll see what you're missing. 
Okay, so blue is defeated. They're out of the game. Start another supply drop. Combat ongoing, inactive harvester, village lost. Yeah, I was expecting to lose Fonrum. That's okay. Might be a good idea to get a turret in here, though. Might help. A little bit light on Plazcrete. Anywhere I can get another Plazcrete factory? Here. More Plazcrete. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's it. House Atreides is done. I just need to get to Siege Taber. I think I can do this. I think I can win a military victory. But I'm going to call that the end of this episode. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.